Hello everyone, this is In Game Art to deliver boxing and offline product game review. This is Resident Evil 4 for the PlayStation 4, but this is being played and tested on my PlayStation 5. The jump right into it, this physical copy here is just the base vanilla version of the game, so the on this version says 1.0. And as well, at the time of this video, there were no updates available. So this is the most complete updated version of the game you can get at the time of making this video. As well as I did play the game completely offline with an unregistered account and I didn't experience any massive game breaker bugs or issues. The game ran perfectly smooth beginning to end as well as that I was still unlocking trophies with an unregistered account, which is extremely nice. I just wanted to run back through Resident Evil 4, the original one, because I haven't played the game in over 7 years. And with the remake coming around, I really wanted to try and come back to this game and play the original before I played the remake. And I just had a blast playing it. Resident Evil 4 was the dividing point of the Resident Evil series where many people debate whether what Resident Evil should be. Should it be a survival horror or should it be a survival action game? And it, it, the divide is very welcome on both sides. I love survival horror, but I also love the overall designs of like Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, that feeling of progression and weapon upgrading. It's extremely fun getting all that loot and selling it and upgrading equipment and just increasing your maximum health or whatever you name it is just undeniably a tons of fun to play. Now Resident Evil 4, the original one here, hasn't really aged all that bad. It will it still functions and plays extremely well even to this day. Though it did take me a little bit, bit, bit to remember that I actually changed the game controls to uh, Control Type 2. Control Type 1 is where you use the left joystick to move your body and your right joystick to aim. Well, there's no really reason to really use your right joystick that because I mean, you have to take your finger off the X button to move over the right joystick to move your cursor, your crosshairs. So that's why I moved to button layout number 2 because that allows me to just stop and move and never have to let go of my run button. I just overall found that a better setup in my personal taste. So it was a little confusing at first. Like, my, my, I, was, I played this game so much that my body was instantly knowing that this is not the controls. I was playing this differently. And that's when I realized I was playing with control set 2. It's just my personal taste. But... I've talked about Resident Evil 4, and tons of people have talked about Resident Evil 4, and there's not a lot I can add to the, the subject about it. It's just a really fun, arcadey kind of style game, and the progression is really fun, and the overall pacing of the game is really good. Though, there is a certain moment in the game we get to an island, and, and the enemies start using guns and stuff like that a lot more and stuff. I, I'm not a big fan of that section of the game, because I've always said it, when you give the enemy a gun, it makes the game less scary in my personal taste, because it just makes more feel like I'm not playing an action game than an actual horror game. That's my personal taste. But overall, Leon Kennedy and the overall story that the Las, Las Plagas and the cult and everything like that is all very well done in this game. And it was a big changing point to not only Resident Evil but to gaming in general. There is no denying the effect that Resident Evil 4 or had to many other games in the third person or over the shoulder shooting genre in gaming. Resident Evil 4 this exploded that genre of gameplay and it, it, for good reason the gameplay is smooth it's solid it's very rewarding to be able to shoot specific bo body parts of the enemy to have certain animations and actions between the enemy and your attacks as well as that is the first resident evil to actually have more physical defense where you could just they actually use your like your hands or your feet or kicking or your suplex to do a lot more physical attacks with them than just your knife and gun I don't know. There's not a lot of stuff I could talk about Resident Evil 4 that hasn't already been said. I just wanted to come back through the game and test it on PlayStation 5 while I had the chance before the remake came out, and I'm really glad the game ran extremely well and the gameplay was still extremely fun. Then, some people might have a hard time because the game still works with tank controls where you push up to go forward, you turn, push left to right to turn the body, and you push down to walk backwards. Some people might still have a problem with this because it doesn't work with like nowadays games where you have full strifing and stuff like that. And then you aim with your right joystick while well, I had to change that. It, it's, it's, it has its issues, but once you get the hang of it, it isn't a problem at all. And you just get the hang of where you need to be, how you use your guns and stuff like that. And it's also very fascinating to see what everyone feels like, like, what is the best layout, what's the best guns in the game. Me, I've always used the R9 pistol, the TMP machine gun, the riot shotgun, and then uh, that's about it. Oh, and then I use the semi-auto rifle, the sniper rifle. Those are basically my guns I always run through the game with, and I've never had any issues with that layout. Some people like the striker, some people don't think the TMP is useless. 
and I don't know, I've always used those guns ever since I've always played this game. I don't know, I have such fond memories of this game, and it's, it's such an old classic, but even to this day, it still holds up, it looks great. Though this is the PS2 version of the game, they remade or remastered for the PS4. The GameCube version does look a little bit graphically better, but the PS2 version has more content in it, so I'm glad they, did, they chose the PS2 version. But... I don't know. There's not a lot I can say. The gameplay is smooth. Some people will get upset about Resident Evil 4 because it is the departure from the survival horror and more into the survival action. Now, as I said, I like both of them. They're both really fun to play, so it's really hard for me to choose. They, they both have their place. The action versions, the survival action versions, have a lot more replay value. That's undeniable, but the classic survival horror ones like Resident Evil 1 Remake, Resident Evil 0, or the classic, classic ones 1, 2, and 3, Code Veronica, they're still extremely fun to game, and it doesn't mean I want them to part from that. But I understand why Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, like Resident Evil 8 became, or just beloved, because they are an action survival and not survival horror. And that's perfectly fine. They're still fun, they're still eerie, they're still very atmospheric in their design. And I still love every, there's no bad Resident Evil. The only bad ones you can probably think of is like maybe Resident Evil 6 and maybe Resident Evil Survivor. But I mean, even those games are still enjoyable in their own ways. Like always, I will try to leave links down in the description. As I said, I played and tested this game on PlayStation 5. No issues, no problems. And I was still unlocking trophies. And I still had a blast playing it. And I didn't have any problems with it. So it's well worth your time to play it or check it out or pick it up for your collection. Because it's still a phenomenal game. And even if the remake comes out and it blows the water of the original. Then I would still love and appreciate and play the original one. And I still think everyone should still play the original one. Just to see where it's started and still see how much they maybe change and alter and it could be whole new experiences between them both so like always thank you all so much for watching this unboxing video i hope you enjoyed this offline unregistered experience and knowing that you can play this game with no issues down the road in the future of a playstation 5 or a playstation 4 so again thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next unboxing video Bye bye